Hey folks, thanks for stopping by. Today's project is a fun one. It's a pull string top. Stick around, we'll get started. Today's project has four pieces, five if you count the string. You've got the handle, you've got the body of the top, you've got the axle, a pull knob, and the string. Uh, let's see, let's start with the handle. You want to take a rectangular piece of wood um, you don't want a square piece because what you've got to do is drill a large hole uh, to put the string through as well as a smaller hole for the axle to put into. Um, so to what I'm going to do to prepare this is mark a, uh, a, a line about an inch and a half back from the end uh, on two axes, find the center point of that line and mark it. Now I'll go to the drill press and I'll drill about probably a 7 eighths of an inch hole here and a through hole here that is the same size as the bit of dowel. In this case, that's 3 eighths of an inch. So 3 eighths of an inch hole this way, 7 eighths of an inch hole this way. That'll be for the handle. I also marked the, um, uh, the center this way. You want to try to get it as centered as possible so that the holes line up in the center of what's left. So let's see, um, the top itself is just a block of wood. Um, any shape will do. You can make it a, a small disc, you can make it uh, like, like this one where it's, it's longer than it is tall. What you want to do though is find the center, drill a hole that is the same diameter as your dowel, and then take your handle blank, figure out where the center is so that you end up with, uh, so you end up knowing where to drill the small hole that the string goes through. As you can see in this one, um, pull the string off. The center of the hole, or let me see if, can, see if you guys can see that. The hole is about centered on the axis while you're winding up the string. In other words, you wouldn't want the, the hole to be covered up by either the top or the bottom. Um, and of course, the, the length of the dowel has to be such so that it, it goes all the way through the handle and comes out the top. Um, the, the, the pull pull cord handle is just a scrap, uh, this is half of a pin blank. Uh, let's see, so once we've got that, uh, the dowel cut and drilled, glue it into your, uh, to your top blank and then let's get it on the lathe and we'll get to turning. So we'll start off with a spindle gouge and the idea is to take this section down to round and to make a gentle um, uh, a gentle bead basically over this area so we don't actually get into the either one of the holes. So, let me uh, get started.
Uh, that's probably good enough. Let me break out the sandpaper and we'll get to sanding. Okay. I'm not going to put a finish on this because I'm going to just put mineral oil on it in case, you know, it, it ends up in a, in a kid's mouth. So let me set this aside and I'll get set up and we'll turn the top. So there's a couple of different ways I could have mounted this. Um, I happen to have a very nice set of uh, the Beal collet chucks. Um, this happens to be uh, 3 eighths of an inch, which matches the size of the dowel. You can also use a um, uh, Jacob's uh, Jacob's chuck, you know, a drill bit holder. Uh, just make sure that if you do put it in your headstock, that it's one that has a um, uh, a threaded hole for a drawbar on the back, because you, you don't want it flying out, uh, especially later on when you're turning the point. Um, also, they, they make uh, small collet chucks, like if you get um, some of the threading jigs come with a, a collet chuck and a draw bar. Uh, if it happens to be the same size as your dowel, that would work. Um, lots of ways to skin that cat. I'm just going for a general uh, general top shape. It'll be a small curve, small curve here, and then coming down to a point here. I'll leave the um, uh, the revolving live center in until I get close to the bottom, just to cut down on the vibration. So there's a big chunk of wood spinning fairly quickly on a fairly small dowel so you'll see when I um, uh, when I get down to the point and I pull the uh, tailstock away that I'll have to kind of use my hand to, to steady it while I'm cutting the last of that point. So let me get started.
little bit of chatter from that last little bit when I should have just left it alone. That's alright though, sandpaper will take care of it. All right, let me check up that little bit of a pen blank and we'll make the pull handle. So the idea here is just to um, produce a couple of beads and then a groove or a, a cove in the center, tie the string around so that you have something to pull with. We have a uh, rough and gouge and get that down to round. the bench. So the only assembly you really need to do is, um, of course, tie the cord around the handle. Um, you may need to take a bit of sandpaper and smooth the inside of these holes out, um, make a bit a little bit tight, although with a, a few pulls that, that's, that's quickly gone. So let me give you guys a demonstration of how this thing works. You just slide the axle in, Feed the cord through the hole. Wind it up. And give it a pull. Obviously my table is not very level. That is it. Thanks for sticking with me. Um, if it's your first time here, please be sure to hit uh, hit subscribe. I try to put out uh, one of these videos a week. Um, hit like, share, comment. Tell me what you like. Tell me what you don't like. I can't make it any better. Nobody tells me what, what I'm doing wrong. Take care.